what is happening? Welcome to another pitch video breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, founder of Pitcherless.com, former college pitcher, pitching coach, all of that fun stuff. And yes, what we do here is I watch innings uh, of pitchers, analyze them, and of course I have all my stuff on Twitch at 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. every single weekday morning, and all my articles on Pitcherless.com talking about every single starting pitcher, um, all of that. But today, we're going to talk about Nick Lodolo. We're going to watch him. No, he's not this way. He's that way because <laughs> I'm over here today. Um, we're going to see what does he do? How does he get his outs? How does How is he an effective starter? Uh, and uh, I've got my colors back. It's all good. I've got my giant, giant mouse. Uh, but we're going to watch him uh, today in the fifth inning. So let's go into this. And keep in mind, if you don't know Nick Lodolo, it's fastball, changeup, and breaking ball. You kind of want a curveball. You want to call it a slider, whatever you want to do. Kind of reminds me of Chris Sale, but we're going to talk about it. And this wasn't the cleanest of innings, and I think that's kind of important to watch. So that's a fastball at 94. And what Nick Lodolo is trying to do is he's trying to get this ball inside. Okay, and this is kind of a problem for Lodolo. He has a very flat uh, plane to the plate, right? This isn't a tall guy going down into it, and this is very exaggerated, but just deal with me. Um, because it's a flat plane, it generally means that it plays up better up here, uh, which is it's just harder to match the bat plane that is when the guys swing. They come up like that. And that matches a tall pitcher going to the top of the zone, but does not match the flat low dolo. Um, so he's trying to do this. And he gets it over here. And this is kind of easier to push out if he's expecting it. But it is up and elevated. And yes, the camera angle is the worst thing ever. And it stinks in Cincinnati. is just it's not great in Cincinnati these days. Uh, so as if they need another problem. But anyway, he gets a first pitch strike with a fastball. You might want to see if he can do it again. And he does actually with a changeup, but that's really cool. Um, that looks like it's the fastball coming up here, but instead falls down as a changeup coming down that way. So that's why he fouls that one off. He's also ahead of it because it is also a six mile per hour difference. That's pretty cool. So now you're 0-2. Uh, what I want to see is a slider that comes down all the way over here. Um, that would just eat him up because he's probably thinking like, oh, he's made going fastball upstairs here, something like that. Maybe you want to throw that change up down here now. I don't really stun him. We'll see what we go with. Maybe actually go with the fastball upstairs because he's wanting to swing at both of these and maybe he'll extend himself up. Let's see what Lodolo goes with. Oh, no. No. That's so bad. So like, he tried to go with this. But this is, I mean, we're going to watch it one more time. Look how just meaty this pitch is. I don't even know what the result is yet. Yeah. Yeah, no. That oh well, that's a single, not a double, but it's a double. Uh that should be a single with an error. They'll never call it that, but that's what that was. Um Mom is even laying out. Like you weren't close, man. All right. Uh so not even man on second. You gotta get out of this. You're Nick Lodolo. Okay? Hi, Nick Lodolo. <laughs> it's three nothing. Top of the fifth, but you don't want this to be a beginning. So uh let's see how he, he reacts in the stretch here. And that's a really good pitch. Oh, it's perfect. This is so hard to hit. Uh, one of the biggest skill sets. If you ask Nick, what is the one thing I want you to do as a lefty consistently? It's this. It's throwing a fastball up and in to right-handed batters with consistency. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Oh, all right. I'm going to do that again. What do you want? What is the number one thing I look for from a lefty pitcher? It's this. It's a fastball coming up and in. To a right-hander. It's beautiful. Like, if you can do that all day, you are going to be such a successful pitcher in the majors. Um, yeah, sorry for everyone on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> I, I needed to repeat that one because I think that's such an important point. I wanted to nail that smoothly. Anyway, uh, there's a fastball down. Look at him trying to butt. Wow. Uh, not what I expect. And also, Ludola traditionally does not go down with his fastball. He's not trying to do this, typically. This is a great pitch down away like dotted and going up and in down away is really hard and Sosa wasn't ready for them bunted it back but I'm surprised he bunted at 01 and not oh oh maybe the coach is like oh you are so overwhelmed I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the bunt sign um right now but now you have a mo2 and like you can do whatever you want I mean look Lodolo did not execute that slider before I would not go to it, especially in this big situation. I'd probably want to throw it earlier in the count first because I don't want to risk it. Like that 83 mile per hour slider they threw at 02, if that was 00, maybe he gets taken for a strike, right? Try and throw that, find that pitch earlier in the count so you can find it um, in this 02 one. So I want to go with that. It could be a high heater here, it could be a change up away. I'd be going with one of those two pitches. 
Yeah, high heater, and that's perfect. 95. And I got to emphasize this. Lodolo throwing upstairs heaters. Beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. He, It's really, really hard for him. Uh, so for batters to hit it with his low uh, low release point. Let's actually watch that really quickly. Uh, as Lodolo releases the ball, he's releasing it down here. And the path of this is very... It's a... Uh, it's very close. I mean, that even that is like up. Or sorry, that comes down. But like this is a path that goes, oof. That's perfect if you're looking for VA that is vertical approach angle. That's good stuff. And that was probably supposed to be elevated. And it, it fell down. And that's actually easier to hit um, than, uh, than the one up. So that's why he was able to loft it off. Because again, if you don't know VAA, it's all about the bat travel. So like this pitch coming, think of it this way. Bader's swing path is going to be a little bit elevated. It's not ever, it's really going to be coming down like that. Okay. So if you have a flat ball, if you see the, the bat goes through that, um, that trajectory for less time. But if you have a, a non flat ball, you can see actually the bat path goes along it, uh, longer. That's essentially the idea behind VAA. So that means if you have a very steep angle, you want to go down here. Because the bat path is going to be uh, harder to reach, harder to match. But if you have a flat one, you want to be up here. Okay, if you, if you have a flat one and it comes down here, that's actually going to match the bat path. That's a very quick tutorial on VAA and, what, and why that matters. So anyway, here we are. We have two outs, man on third. And if I'm Lodolo, I, not, I have to be careful about this one a little bit. Um, it is a nine batter. You don't necessarily want to flip over the lineup and really start getting to the good hitters. But at the same time, if I fall behind on Bader, I would rather take my chances on the next guy than giving him a pitch to hit to hit in the third, uh, hit in the run from third, right? So you have first and second technically, but then you don't really want to face like Goldschmidt and and so on and, and Tyler O'Neill. So I so if I'm attacking, I'm attacking right away on this one, hopefully to get in a good count and not trying to be too cute. So there's the slider, and I love this exactly what I was talking about. You don't want to throw the slider in O2. You want to throw it early in the count to see if you have it. That is as meaty of one as you can get, but hopefully Lodolo was tr essentially trying to do that. You get the feel for it, and then you can, uh, then that means, oh, cool, I know how to throw this one. I know how to make the adjustment uh, to get my slider now down here, right? Down to this area, which is the best use of this coloring tool I've used so far. So now at 01, and you just threw free real estate, free real estate, you're probably going to go up and in with the heater because that's just your best pitch. And great. You threw it up. He was aggressive on it fouled it off and because Bader swung at it did not swing at the first pitch breaking ball swung at the fastball even though it was out of the zone kind of tells you that Bader is ready to swing now he could be adjusting thinking oh no I've given my hand I've shown my hand now I'm going to get some sort of secondary pitch either that slider or that change up so you might actually want to elevate here as well um, or if you go with the change up and he doesn't swing I think you got to gambit it so I would actually go with the fastball up oh beautiful no, and he executed that slider, and that's what it should have been in that first at bat. Uh, instead of it failing to to go underneath the zone, it landed here. No, this is perfect, and you really leaned in to Bader's aggression. This is this is honestly an execution of, of Lodolo, but more so a failure of Bader. As I was just talking about sequencing here, Bader just showed his hand of being aggressive on it and should have expected an 0-2 breaker. Uh, or if it was a fast one, been out of the zone, and he should have he should have not swung at that. Uh, but look, props to Lodolo, and that is essentially everything you need to know about Nick Lodolo, right? He has a fastball that is super good up in the zone. He has this devastating slider that when he commands it well can be incredible, and he also has this changeup that sometimes becomes his number two pitch. We only saw it once, but he got a very important very important O one strike uh, that got to an O two count that he didn't you know quite execute, but. It worked out. And that's like Lodolo. The command is still a little bit of a question, but the fact that the, the fastballs are up consistently makes me very excited. And it's really just about getting consistency with exactly that pitch to become excellent. But yeah, the Reds have something to be excited about in Hunter Green and Nick Lodolo. They still have Luis Castillo and Tyler Molly. That is a very, very good rotation. Uh, we'll see what the offense can do. But that's going to do it for today's pitch breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock. Check me out on Twitch at 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. every single weekday morning. Just come hang out. It's seriously, I answer all of your questions. We just chill for like the first hour 
It, it's amazing. You should be there. Uh, but that's going to do it. So my name is Nick Pollock. And may your babas be low and your strike outside.